you're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. On today's show, we're going to introduce you to a company that has solved an age-old problem. Please welcome Ruby Russell with Stay Put Bedding. Thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for coming. What happened to cause you to come out of retirement? Well, it all stemmed when I fell in love with Louis Scheel, who is 87 and I'm 65. He would come up on the weekends and he would toss and turn at night, messing the bed up to the point of where I'd have to remake it every single day. And it was frustrating. I would sneak out of the bed and let him make it, but then he injured his back. Once he injured his back, I would feel guilty sneaking out. So I had to come up with something. So I ended up adding extra fabric to my bed to make it more comfortable for us to sleep and it would stay tucked in. And that's how we ended up coming up with stay put beddings. You realized that you were not the only one that had this feeling, uh, the frustration with having to try to tuck your bed in every day. And you know, to get those really nice clean hospital edges it's a lot of work. It is because the hospital corners has seven different steps. When our bedding only has one tuck and you're done with it. Well, let's take a look, if you don't mind, at this model and explain the concept because sheets haven't been really redesigned, re-engineered for decades. 57 years ago, someone invented the fitted sheet. And today, we have stay put bedding and people are going to be fascinated with this. So honored to be able to share your, your product with our community. Let's take a look at it. You know, Mitch, um, I started with adding an extra fabric to my own bed. And we tested it for a couple of years. We found out that it really did stay put. I can tell why. When you think of adding extra fabric to the base, and you are sliding more material up further underneath the mattress. The weight holds it in place, doesn't it? Exactly. But then we thought that it would be easier if we made it so that someone could tuck it in. So we added the pockets. And this you have patented. We have a patent on stay put bedding. Ingenious, because now you take your hand. And you put it in the pockets and you just tuck it under. And, and it's one step instead of seven. I can't be alone. I go to a hotel, the corners are tucked so tight I can't stand it. The first thing I do is rip them apart because I'm a back sleeper and I have a size 13 foot. Oh, Mitch, you're not alone. You know, 60% of Americans don't like their feet tucked in. So the first thing they do when they go into a hotel is untuck their sheets. With stay put, it gives plenty of room for you to have plenty of room if you're a back sleeper and it'll still stay tucked in. The only thing that moves is the top of the sheet. And then the next morning, all you have to do is pull it up and it's done. I can already tell that one of the other problems that this solves is when I untuck those hospital corners, many times I wake up in the morning and the sheets move back off my feet, my feet are cold. This allows me to keep my feet warm without having them compressed and constricted by a sheet. Exactly, and the looseness in the bottom of the sheet has a lot of benef medical benefits for people with gout, with diabetic, um, nerve damage. It's genius. It's more than just the design though. You went to the extreme on the quality of these sheets as well. So let's talk about the construction. These are 400 thread count Egyptian cotton, long staple with a sateen finish, which makes it satiny. They are. I mean, this is so soft. It, it's actually beautiful. I can't imagine wanting to get out of bed with sheets this comfortable. Elegant design as well. The embellishments on these and the stitching is just phenomenal. Well, thank you. This is an original design by Louis Scheel. Would you come with me and I'll show you the difference between our sheet and the traditional sheet? I'm excited to do that. Let's go. I would like to show you the importance of our pockets. You just put your hand in and you slide them and you tuck and it's done. 
It's genius. The pockets give your hands something to help you push back with, so you don't have to lift, and then slide out to the sides and it's installed. Exactly. And then you have the double thickness on the pockets that help stabilize it under the bed and keeps it in, in place. What really stands out in my mind is I don't have to grab this heavy mattress, lift up this corner, slide it in, lift it up again to slide it in, and repeat on the other side. I bet innkeepers would find this a huge benefit. Oh, yes. That way you don't have to do pick and tuck, pick and tuck, pick and tuck. And pick and tuck and four pick times. pick and tuck, yes. Reduce risk of injury. Yes. Lower workman's compensation yes. claims. Labor savings probably pretty significant too. This is faster oh. to install. Oh, much faster. You know, the labor savings for the next day is astronomical. I get it. You don't have to pick and tuck four more times and to straighten the sheet. At that point, you just grab it and pull it back. Exactly. If you're doing that over and over and over, room after room after room, in some cases two beds per room or more, uh, the labor savings can be phenomenal. A happy guest in a hotel is a repeat guest. So this can really have an impact on their business as well. Oh yes, the guest is going to remember how easy it was to enter and exit the bed and all of the extra room that they have to maneuver their feet. Their feet are warm. They're comfortable, they can sleep on their back if they're a back sleeper. This is a real big deal. It is a big deal. And people may not ever really be able to recognize exactly why it was. They just remember when they went there, they were more comfortable. Exactly. There's nothing more inviting than a well-made bed and more comfortable to get into than nicely made sheets. But. Am I alone or am I the only one that just hates making the bed in the morning? Oh no, I hated making the bed every morning. That was the, one of the other reasons I designed this. If you don't mind, I'd like to kick these things off, the canoes that I wear, 13, size 13, and show everybody what I meant about the brilliance of your design. Please do. I am a back sleeper whose feet are no longer confined. There's enough sheet left over here for me to sleep on my back with my feet up, and I'm comfortable. The quality of the sheet, too, it's just scrumptious. Is this how Louis used to leave the bed in the morning? Oh, that and worse. I'd like to show everyone how easy this is to make. Would you join me? Yes, I'd love to. It's calling my name again. So easy to make. Ruby, you're not only an incredibly charming lady, but you're a genius, a mad scientist to design and invent and reinvent. It's like reinventing the wheel. You've done it. And I'm sure people right now are fascinated and wanting a set for themselves how they get a hold of it. Okay, you. call us at 775-781-7220 or go to our website at www.stayputbeddings.com. That's Ruby Russell, Stay Put Beddings. Unbelievable. So happy to have you on our show. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Mitch. It's been a pleasure. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. I am delighted to introduce our guest today, Annie Ghani Stewart with eWomen Network, an extraordinary international organization that has a local Reno Carson chapter. So thank you, first of all, for allowing us to share your enterprise with our community. Awesome. Thank you, Mitch, for having us. <laughs> there are some business owners and individuals in our community right now saying eWomen Network. I think I get a hint of what this means, but tell me what it is, how it got it started. Well, eWomen Network is an international uh, networking organization founded about 16 years ago by Sandra Yancey in Dallas, Texas. We've had our local chapter in Reno for about 10 and a half years now, and I've served as the managing directors for about three and a half years. 
I think that's going to surprise a lot of people that this chapter has been here for 10 years because I just recently discovered the eWomen Network. Honored to introduce this organization to our community. A little bit about what the network is here to do and you mentioned your founder who's going to be in Reno and we're going to get to meet. Yes, I'm really excited. Sandra Yancey is the founder of eWomen Network and she comes uh, to the chapters once a year. Not all the chapters, but some of the really top chapters, and Reno never misses a visit from Sandra. It's the Women's Success Summit on April 20th. And uh, she comes in, and she's been in business for 25 or 30 years, very successful, and loves to give back to the community. That's what's really unique about eWomen Network, is we're based on the tenets of give first, share always, lift as you climb, and it takes teamwork to make the dream work. So in our network, it's female-centric, but we do have men. We call them affectionately our emails. Um, but what we do is we uh, lift each other up and try to do business with our network and help each other grow in their businesses and in their personal life. A fantastic cause. And today we're going to see one of the events that you put on uh, where you do several of these. The events that you have are prolific throughout the entire year. Tell mm -hmm. me about today's event. Today's event, we're, we call it a strategic business introduction. Every month we go to a different member's place of business. Today we're with the Ameriprise office and Irene Self, one of our members. And we bring in a group of people, usually about 10 to 14 people, very intimate setting. We sit kind of boardroom fashion. We give each person two minutes to give their introduction. So we really find out who they are and what they need. And then we do what we call a wisdom circle process where we reach into the group and ask for advice. And it's pretty cool because some people have been in business like me 32 years. You know, I've got some ideas, but then we get some of these newer businesses with fresh ideas, you know, so you just never know who you're going to meet. A fantastic opportunity for businesses to network and grow in a really critical time in our economy in Northern Nevada. So let's take a look at the meeting. All right. Thank you. Inspiring. It's amazing what happens when a group of people get together and share ideas and what they're up to. But there's more depth to the eWomen Network than just those introductions. Tell me a little bit more about the other facets. You're absolutely right, Mitch. That a little event that we did today is just the tip of the iceberg. I have four events a month in Reno. What's really cool is we do a Wine and Wisdom Wednesday, we call it, and that's one event where we actually go to our members' place of business. How awesome is it to get people to come into your brick and mortar, right? So we do our informal networking and our rounds of networking, but we give a chance to the owner, one of our members, to be showcased and let her talk about her business, offer specials or whatever. So those are really popular events. And then our other events are our dinner events. At our dinner events, we have our business showcase exhibitors. We do two rounds of networking and we have dinner because we believe that sitting around a table and enjoying a meal with someone, you really get to know that person. And, and our whole philosophy is based on lift as you climb and give first, share always. So it's that interaction. So we're women, most of our members are women and we shop differently than men, we buy differently, right? So we want to know, like, and trust the people that we do business with. And so sitting down, having a meal together, you really get to know people, find out what they really need and have a deeper connection. So that's kind of what it's all about. What sets us apart at eWomen Network is not only our networking events and that give first, share always, um, but we also believe there's enough to go around. So we don't limit one person per industry. In our Reno chapter, we have close to 200 members, and but we have several uh, of the same types of business. So maybe a couple of real estate people, a couple of hair you know, salons or day spas. You know, you don't click with everybody and, and we believe that there, we should offer choices. We mentioned at the beginning of the episode that coming to town on the 20th of April, the founder of eWomen Network, Sandra Yancey, and there's still time for people to register for that event. Let's talk about the event that's upcoming. 
I'm excited about this event, uh, Mitch. Uh, this is when the CEO of the company goes on her national tour. Um, so we have about 110 chapters across North America, and Sandra tours about 30 to 40 of them. Never misses a stop in Reno because we have an amazing chapter here. So she'll be here April 20th. Uh, it's our biggest event. We have 15 exhibitors, business showcase exhibitors. We do informal networking. We have a cash bar, and um, Sandra gives her keynote address. But uh, there's still time to register. You can go online to our website, and we'd love to see you there and bring your friends. Uh, it's open to men and women. Any entrepreneur or business owner in town uh, should be there. Sandra's been in business for over 25 years. She clearly runs a multi-million dollar, very successful company, and she loves to give back to the community and, and give up her knowledge, right? And she loves her question and answer period. So she'll give her keynote address, but then we have about 30 minutes of just pure Q&A. And, you know, she's been married for 38 years to the same man, which is quite an accomplishment these days, right? Runs her business, has adult kids and an elderly mother, just like all of us, has life, right? But she still runs a successful business, so she loves to answer questions about that and um, give back as much as she can. So it's going to be fun. What's really cool about Sandra Yancey is although she has all of these managing directors managing chapters across North America, she herself knows each one of us personally and what our business is. And I get referrals from her, you know, and she does shout outs on when she does her sip, tip and talk. It's a monthly kind of a show that she does for the members and she'll give shout outs to the managing directors to refer people to our businesses. So I just love that. That I mean, she's a busy woman and she still knows, you know, about our personal lives and what's going on with us. So it makes us feel pretty special. <laughs> Well, I am really excited about meeting Sandra because we're going to be chronicling the event so that people can take a look back uh, afterwards and, and see what this is all about. Very exciting. And so please uh, just take a moment and let everybody know how they can get involved with the eWomen Network and uh, specifics about this event. Thank you, Mitch. Yes, you can go to our website, eWomenNetwork.com, and search for the Reno chapter. The event is Wednesday, April 20th at Hidden Valley Country Club. Informal networking starts at 4.30. You can also reach me by phone, 775-747-2726. That's Annie Ghani Stewart with eWomen Network and Charlie. Thank <laughs> you so much for having us. Thank you, Mitch. So excited about this event and just a pleasure being able to introduce eWomen Network. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Awesome. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. Today we're at one of the hidden marvels in our entire country. Don't judge a book by its cover. We're here with Ted, the embroidery doctor, Mark Bader, and Brett Edmonds. Thanks so much for being on our show. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. Welcome I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we have going on over here. Let's take a look. We're going to start off by shocking everyone watching this and proving you're more than just the embroidery doctor. Only about 10% of what I see here is embroidery. What do we have going on here? It's so true, Mitch. You know, it, we as a couple of business guys really believe in diversity. And the way that we can be diverse is not only by doing custom and contract embroidery and screen print, but we like to, you know, we like to do really exciting things and things that uh, people may not think of right off the bat. You I know, think they'd call you more of a complete branding specialty center. I think that's a perfect way to explain us. And uh, yeah, you can come in and, and we can brand your company in any manner. Well, this is exciting. I have never seen anything like this. Tell us about that process. Right now, we, we did this as a uh, donation to the University of Nevada, Reno at the governor's dinner. And uh, we did the Kaepernick logo with uh, the Nevada logo on top of it. Uh, we're only one of very few companies in the country that actually do half toning as a sandblast. And as you can see, if you get in really close, you can see the laces on the football. You can see Cap's uh, face and his nose and eyes. And uh, yeah, that's something that's pretty special to us and we, we're really proud of it. I think we've all seen labels for a business put on a bottle of wine, but this takes it to a whole new level to literally sandblast this in there, permanently etch it basically into the bottle yeah. and give a permanent piece of your company to somebody. Yeah, it's a perfect example right here. There's a good friend of mine, Ed Doyle, who owns Northern Nevada Rebar. We did uh, some uh, bottles for him. We actually sandblasted them, took the labels off, sandblasted them, painted them, and then actually frosted the bottles back. Such a beautiful bottle, he should think of opening up a winery. <laughs> he might do that. <laughs>
I see you've made your own golf balls. My only question about this is, why do you have the phone number on it? It should say, if lost, please call. Well, it could on the other side if you wanted that. So <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, just another way that you can brand your business. You know, I'm an avid golfer. Uh, not very good at it, but an avid golfer. And you know what? If I lose a couple golf balls out there, maybe somebody will call my business and wonder where they can do the same thing. This has got to be one of my personal favorites because this case that the wine and the wine glasses are in, you make them from scratch. We most certainly do. You know, this is where my partner comes in. Mark is an amazing carpenter and he's got 30 years of experience of building these kind of things. And he's the one that came up with this design. I kind of am the creative guy in the business, and, but Mark puts everything together. And uh, after I told him what I was kind of looking for, I said, how can we do this? And he came up with this design. This is his slide lid. This is, the, he made the design for these glasses to come in and out. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty special box. We're pretty proud of it. And on another note, we're actually going to do a box for you today where we're going to uh, do some sandblasting and uh, some laser engraving and do a wood box for you also. How exciting. What are we going to do with this cutting board? Well, the cutting board is going to be pretty exciting. We're going to put your company logo on this particular cutting board today and we'll be able to get that accomplished for you. There's lots of different things you could do with wood. I'll show you a perfect example right here. Here's one piece that I did for my anniversary, our 28th anniversary. You know, you could do lots of wood for Valentine's Day, for anniversaries, weddings. Got a number of things going on here to show how diverse you really are. What are we going to do here? Exactly. You know, once again, we're thinking outside the box. Once uh, these stainless steel items, we're going to do, have three different applications. We're going to do a pad press in color. We're going to do a sandblast application and a laser engraving application on those. This water bottle here, we're going to put a, a pad press onto that. We're going to, we're one of the only companies around that has a hoop to do shoes. And we're going to embroider your logo onto these shoes. So Mitch, this is where it all starts, master control, you know. Once we get an order from one of our great clients, this is where it starts. We bring in your logo and we give it to Juan. He's, a, he's an incredible graphics designer and uh, he does a great job for us right now. As you can see on the screen, he's quality controlling your logo from uh, another designer. So what he's done is went ahead and fixed a couple little issues that we saw and he's also got your logo digitized ready for your embroidery that we're going to be doing a little bit later and now that he's got this um, your logo vectored, we can also put it on the laser engraver, we can put it on the screen print machine, we can do a lot of different things with it. So Mitch, right now what we're doing is we are prepping the bottles and the glasses that we talked about for the case out front earlier. Now what Trey's doing right now is putting glue on the glass, he's going to put his emulsion film onto that glue and then we're going to walk in the back and he, we can watch him actually sandblast this glass and that bottle. Oh, I'm excited to see that. So right now, what Trey has done is he brought the bottle into the cage area, which is an enclosed area, and he is now starting to micro sandblast the glass away from the film. So once the bottles have been sandblasted, what's the next step? So Trey gets the bottles cleaned up, and then he brings them back into the painting room, and he starts the painting process. He takes his pen, goes through each individual letter of the logo, paints it, and then he'll let it dry. It looks so beautiful when it's done, but the process is pretty technical. Yeah, it's an in-depth process, but uh, look at that finished product, Mitch. Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful gift to give, too, and another way to brand your company. You bet. Well, this is going to prove that you're more than just an embroidery doctor. You're an embroidery doctor and so much more. Laser engraving. I can't wait to see what this is about. Right. You know, a couple years ago, we purchased a laser engraver so that we could do some specialty products, wood products, glass products, uh, you name it. We can pretty much laser engrave on top of it. And we're going to do a cutting board here for you, and we'll show you what the end product looks like. This is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, this is a finished product for you here, Mitch. You know, it's pretty cool. Absolutely. This doesn't take that much time at all. Beautiful. What an incredible promotional piece for a business to give. Amazing. Is everybody as excited as I am to see their logo come to life and to actually pick this up? Yeah, it really blows them away. When they come into the shop and they see their finished product, they're very proud of it. They can't wait to show other people about it. You probably enjoy that more than anything. You bet. It gives us pleasure, you know. We, we really are diverse, and it gives us pleasure to see them smile. This is the heartbeat of your business, embroidery. It is. It most certainly is. This is Christina. She's our head embroiderer. She uh, runs and supervises all 32 of our heads. Right now, what she's doing is she's hooped up four hats that we're putting the Nevada Business Chronicle logo on for you. And uh, you can tell how quickly we can get things done with our brand new Barrett and Machines.
This is fascinating, the speed that these stitch and the volume that you can put out because of it. It really is. You know, Mitch, three years ago when we purchased this business, uh, we, one of our first goals was to upgrade the machinery that was here. And now that we have purchased this new equipment, we almost double our capacity. We do well over 1,000 to 1,500 units per day out of this building. It fascinates me how fast you can crank out five shirts. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, Mitch. You know, right now we've got this brand new Baird machine running at about 30% less capacity that it can actually run. And we like to do that for the quality reasons. Um, we like to keep the quality of the stitch really nice and fine. And we find that running these machines at about 950 RPMs, we keep that quality. And you've got five going right now, but you could do a lot more all at the same time. If you have all the heads going in the place together, how many can you do? We most certainly can. You know, we can, we can run 32 shirts or hats all in the same logo at one time. We've got 32 heads of embroidery here at the shop. This is truly unbelievable what you've put together here, and we've only scratched the surface. Let's take a look at some of the things that you've actually done for us. You bet. You know what? We'll start with these t-shirts. Pretty easy process through our screen printing process. We got a front left chest and a full back on a couple different uh, types of shirts here. This is going to keep me warm in the winter. It is. That's a nice fleece jacket. We embroidered your uh, logo on the left chest. I have some new clothes to wear on the show. Thank you, you for that. You bet. I think this may be one of my personal favorites. Who has business logoed, branded slippers? Slippers, shoes, whatever keep, you want. Keep me warm and remind me who I am. Exactly. This has got to be one of my favorite things I've ever seen. I think it's a beautiful product. And then the logo really looks good on it. It's really interesting how that brand's end looks good. I'm glad you like it. I think we're going to have to put that on our website as well. Mugs. Mugs, stainless okay. steel. This is special and, and a real big deal. So I'll let you showcase what we've done this here. Is, this is something we're pretty proud of that we do that kind of, we talked about being diverse and, and kind of breaking the line a little bit, but this is a wine box that we built for you and we engraved your, your company logo on the top of it, laser engraved it, and then we sandblasted these wine bottles with your company logo. We sandblasted the wine bottles themselves and painted them. It's a real special little project right here. I think it turned out really special. I'm absolutely blown away. Another one of my favorites. Wait, actually, everything is my favorite. There isn't anything here that I'm not absolutely delighted to see. But this cutting board, yeah. it's, it's really special. It really is. You know, Mitch, we're, we're really proud of the things we do here at The Embroidery Doctor. In order to accomplish all of this, it takes an incredibly talented support staff. Thank you all for being a part of this with us. and. That's Brett Edmonds and Mark Bader with The Embroidery Doctor. We really need to work on the name because it's The Embroidery Doctor and so much more. I'm sure there are people right now that are interested in some of these products. How can they get hold of you and bring you files? It's fairly simple. They can email us at sales at embroiderydoc.com or they can call us at 775-358-5151. And our address is at 50 East Greg Street, Suite 108, Sparks, Nevada, 89431. Thanks again so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate you coming out. For information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles.